The Fatal Obstacle, Part Three of Three, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March second, two thousand five, in Hungary. Now we have twenty-three Buddhas left for the time being. How rare it is! In the whole world, only twenty-three fifth-level person, and only in our group. Yeah, nobody, no other school, no other teacher can bring them to the fifth level up to now. Only in our group, even not master, disciple, oh, not even resident, maybe fifth level. We have twenty-three. I wish more, but we will. We have more. We will have more. Okay. And I tell you, appearance really deceives. Yeah, you wouldn't guess. Uh, you know, the day person I point out are Buddhas, no? You wouldn't guess. And they couldn't even guess it themselves. <laughs> which is good. Which is good. Which is good. Because the ego and the bad habits are our enemies. And if he even knows about it, oh, we would be inflamed. You know, we must not struggle. All right, appearance really deceives. I tell you another thing. When I was still living in the cave, eh? I mean, just recently, eh? <laughs> Maybe last week even. I was. I came out of the cave one day because I was doing some fence, so the dog don't come out. That was a long time ago, eh? Be before. Sometimes I have to do some work because we don't have enough. Manpower, and I don't want to hire people to come up there, you know, ruin the atmosphere. So I do some fence myself, and then a fence spring into my eye. It's always this one, and I didn't think about it. I heard, but I thought, never mind. I have to finish the job. It was difficult. It was uphill mountain, you know, and、uh, we have to know how to do it. And、uh, I don't want other people to do it, and I don't want the attendant to do it because they are not trained to do fence. So I do it myself. And then、uh, the fence, one of it spring into my eye, and then three days later it became a little bad, so I have to go see doctor. But it been raining all week long. It was the most、uh, it rained a lot, a lot at that time, and the road is muddy, worse than the road that you're walking in.、Eh? We couldn't even walk in it. The boots were stuck inside the mud, and you have to have another person come in and hold the boot there. <laughs> Hold it up for you and pull your whole body up. Especially me, I'm lightweight, you know. If I'm heavier weight, I could do it, but I'm lightweight. I'm stuck all there together all the time. <laughs> and the mountain road and everything, you know. And the car also often, you know. And the whole car was sprinkled with mud all over. It was white and it became brown. Yeah. <laughs> but my eye hurt. So I went to see the doctor, and it'd been raining all week, and the the road is muddy, and the car was covered with mud, because I've been working all day in in the rain, and of course through the bushes and all that, and muddy all over, you know. And my、uh, one of my assistant also muddy all over. We look like those、uh, special force in the army, you know. <laughs> yeah, unrecognizable. But every day we work like that, so it's normal to me. Until I go to wash myself and come out, it's still muddy again because the rain and the mud and、uh, what in the car, you know. In the beginning we put plastic to protect the the car floor, but later on the plastic just stuck into the boots anyway, and we keep shaking, come in and out, so just、uh, don't care. And then all the chair and everything also、uh, somehow become muddy also. On the face and everything, and that day we just run because raining so much, and it just stopped for maybe an hour. So we have to run down the mountain, you know, because it takes like、uh, like 15 minutes, sometime an hour to go to the first civilization from the mountain where I live, eh? And it takes another maybe two hours to go to the doctor, where I know the doctor, you know, where I live before. Anyway, we went down, and the mud just dry on us, so we don't care. We went into the sea. That was raining on the mountain only. Sometimes snow, yeah. First time I saw snow, it was so nice. In the mountain, where the sunshine area, we never expect. So snow and rain and mud, everything. We go in the city, oh, all clean and posh people, high heel and you know, mini jeep and you know, well, sleeveless, everything. Go around and we look like nobody, jungle fighter. Yeah. 
gorilla or gorilla. <laughs> anyway, so I went to the doctor emergency room because uh, it, it happened to be like uh, Sunday. Uh, my doctor maybe don't work, huh? So we go emergency room. And they the, ring the bell and the nurse come out. Say, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Almost like, don't kill me. <laughs> I said, no, no, just have emergency, you know, it's okay. And then uh, uh, she almost don't want to accept us, you know. No, no, why don't you, you go somewhere else? She said, we don't know anywhere else. It's emergency room, no? Yeah, but, uh, oh, I said, oh, please, please. And then she said, okay, okay, uh, your name, your address, your passport. I said, oh, I don't have, sorry, sorry. Uh, just name, telephone number, okay, okay. And then go see the doctor, everybody like love on, you know, and touch me as less as possible. And I was wondering why, and then I wanted to pay right away. They said, no, no, never mind, you pay next day, nobody here, you know, and they don't worry, you know. Like almost like, okay, if you need money, I give to you. <laughs> and I was wondering why until until I look at my attendant, because we, we don't look at each other, you know, he drive and I sit behind, you know, and I don't look at him, he didn't look at me, and when we come in, we talk to the nurse, we look the same at her, we don't look at him, and once I lay down on the table, I look at the, my assistant face, oh God, <laughs> now it explains it, and they took, uh, you know, half an hour to clean my face first, and then to treat my eyes, and then I know, no wonder they were reacting like that, we don't look like nobody. The whole eyes, everything is a black and brown and everything. And we wear even army boots, you know, like <laughs> like the boots for the rain. Yeah. And it's all covered with mud. And all the clothes and the jacket, absolutely everything covered in mud. In a city where it was sun shining the whole time we were in the mountain, people with high heel and mini jeep and then short run around with uh, even... Uh, uh, with slippers, you know, with 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 the flip flop stuff, on the beach. It was a beach city, and we look like him from African jungle, deep, deep, deep in some tribal area somewhere that no civilization have ever <laughs> touched it. You know? Yeah, we may they might think we are descendant from gorilla or something. We look really like that. Okay, now I was really, you know, <laughs> feeling. I I want to laugh, but I can't, you know. Anyway, that explains it, you know. So the next day, uh, so we want to pay, but they, they didn't want anything. I said, so they would send the, the, the letter, you know, the bill to my house. I said, can we just pay now? I pay cash. No, no, we don't accept it. Never mind, never mind. You know what? If you are British, you go home and, and you get the what? You, you can get an EAR number 90, whatever, from the government, and it's free for you. <laughs> it's very kind. <laughs> Indeed. First they feel afraid, later they feel we are nice or must be very poor farmer from somewhere. Got even dirty finger, everything, absolute. Yeah. So next day we will come back to pay and, uh, you know, they don't recognize us. They say, what are you paying for? <laughs> we have to explain all over again uh, from yesterday. Uh, uh, and it was very difficult to pay. They don't want the money. <laughs> We have to say, no, no, please, I live soon, you know? I'm not a resident here, and if I live abroad, I don't want to owe anything, so please take money. So they just, you know, give the bill. It was very difficult. You have to go two, three different departments in order to pay. <laughs> Nobody wants our money. <laughs> it was very cute. All right. Today, I saw a four-level saying, you know? Yeah. Of course, it's a lot, but sometimes I don't notice, you know? Yeah. Three level, a lot. Four level, not that a lot, but a lot more than fifth level. Né? Fifth level, only in our group. I was surprised to find out myself even, because I thought all the group also teach Kuan Yin method. You know, some group they teach the same. A long tradition, from long time already, they should have produced one or two saints. Fifth level, at least, not a Nam. <laughs> no. <laughs> so congratulations, you guys, huh? Uh, some of you already four level, high four level? I said a few. <laughs> okay? Right. 
Any more question? Any question? Mm. No. Well, I have to say that we have from different country. Yeah, we have a couple of Buddhas each. Yeah? Except for Estonia and, and Finland, they have half a Buddha each country. Because <laughs> he's Estonian huh? and he lives in Finland, so they share, you know, half Buddha, Estonian, half of Finland. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> That's the way, no? Moche, moche, fifty, fifty, eh? So Finland, hold on to that, eh? Well, that half is better than nothing, yeah? If you let her go, you have none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You stay in Finland, yeah? Good. How old are you now? Yeah. 30? 30. 29. Okay, we said 29. Fine. So you have been living in Estonia long enough, so stay in, stay in, in Finland for a while. So that five years and more, right? Okay, so at least they have half a Buddha, okay? If you leave, that will be very sad. Stay longer. Stay longer in Finland? Few, few more years. Okay, well, hold on, eh? <laughs> Do something so that she stays longer, eh? <laughs> Until you have a new Buddha at least, eh? Some of you came from four level to advance further, eh? Like she, eh? So that's why it's a little quicker, eh? Four, but low four, you know? Oh. It seems just like a number, like one level, two level, three level, but oh dear God, if you don't have a master and if you're really sincere and work all your might and energy day and night for many hundreds of lifetimes, maybe you advance one level, one low level. <laughs> the high level, more difficult. It's more vast and more difficult. So it seems like you take it for granted. That is easy, okay? Master said yesterday I was four, today I'm fifth. It's so easy. It's not like that. It's not a number, okay? It's a vastness. Big universe. Fine. Today I have to change bank. And my old bank called me and crying almost on the phone. Why are you leaving us? I say, no, I'm not leaving you. Only the money leaves. <laughs> Yes, but you've been with us a long time and I want, we want to see you again. I say, yeah, if I come back, I can see you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the thing. When you're very nice, it's difficult to make business also, yeah? When you're just strictly business and they don't care, they just let you go. When you've been nice to them, they feel like they lost something more than just money. Hmm? It's difficult for a bank employee to cry, you know that? I don't think they know anything about tears, <laughs> except from the customer, <laughs> not from themselves. Because they cry. Yeah, man and woman calling me and say, Are you really, you really want to move the money? I did really give some best investment for you. I said, I know, I know, I know, I know. It don't matter if you did it, but I'm really not interested in the investment. I just, wherever I need the money, I gotta move it. Yeah, we stay friends, hmm? at least. All right, it's very difficult to live even the bank. Everybody wants to bind you. It's just a bank. Try hard to keep me, you know? Don't transfer it right away, making excuses. And then call and say, are you really sure? I say, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm always sure of what I'm doing. Oh, well, we're so sad that you leave. I say, no, no, nobody leaves. Just the money goes, you know, money come and go. Oh, they can't bear it. Yeah. Funny, huh? Yeah, once you establish some connection with somebody, somewhere, even stranger, they begin to kind of bind you. It's affectionately, yes, but still it feels difficult, eh? Difficult. Make feel guilt make you feel guilty in that stuff. It's my money, I move where I want. But they make me feel guilty. I almost say, please, please don't cry. It's just business, right? Never mind. Any question, guy? If not, then it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think you said yesterday that um, 
we were, a lot more of us would have got higher if we weren't attached. Yeah, it's true. And then, uh, then I looked in myself, and there was some big, horrible attachments there. That um, yours? Yeah. Oh. And so I spent all day cutting those away. How? Um, well, fun, I've got a funny story. Uh, one of the time I was meditating, I saw this huddled figure come. You and saw the what, honey? Huddled figure, had a figure with a, a man with a hood on. Uh, I couldn't see the face. Oh, a hunted yeah, figure yeah. Oh, and, and with the hat. He ran like that. He went like what? Like like that. I run around? Uh, no, he's, he he was saying to me like one and a half. He say one and a half? Yeah. So oh. I thought, let me imagine that this is the Lord of Death saying, look, you got one and a half days left. Then I thought, well, what's important, you know? And then I thought, the only thing that's important is, is, is you. And then I, all day I've been concentrating just on on you. <laughs> well, you know the the five names and God and ah yeah, and, it's yeah. good, it's good. And uh, yeah, I feel a lot better. You do? Yeah. Wonderful. Well done. Thank you. Yes, but you are already very detached, you know, in your way. Right. And every time we have a retreat. Yeah. Uh, even though you're just a small businessman or I don't know employees, not like you're rich a millionaire, you always attend. Yeah. So we leave the wife behind, even though from my feeling and from what you're talking, you really like her very much. I yeah. mean, you really love her. Yeah, I do. So that's just yeah. a detachment. It's not that like you don't love your wife and then you leave. Yeah. You know, you love but you leave. And that is detachment. So it's okay, you're doing your best, don't worry. I don't say things personal to you, to him, to her, I just say generally. Yeah, okay. You always take it personal. <laughs> Everybody think it's personal. Everybody think I talk about him, <laughs> especially you. He always volunteer to be beaten. You know? <laughs> it's me, isn't it? It's me you're talking about. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's very difficult to ignore you. Of course, consider your size and where you sit. <laughs> but I don't concentrate on you, all right? It's tough for everybody. Yeah. Most people have similar problem, ne? Some of people have similar problem. I'm just trying to help, ne? Do whatever you can. <laughs> okay. Any more question? No. Next one. Yeah, here you are. Come here. Come here. Um, when I uh, went back to Germany, I you went back to Germany? Yeah, just quickly in between, and, and then I I found this book again with prophecies, and I was wondering if if it's written for us. Maybe, in a way. It's okay. We don't need anything much anymore. It's all right. Yes or no doesn't matter. So many prophecies. We're supposed to be true, that, but I changed it. You know, the world's supposed to be kaput 2000. I changed it. I promise you we'll still be here. Yeah, in London, I say, yeah, I will be there. Watch it. And I'm here. No? Five years later. But I'm here to change, huh? I'm here to change. Many things are supposed to happen, even in our group, even in my own self. If I didn't go and meditate for a long time, things would be different or even. I might need uh, to come back or I might need another person, to, another being to come down here to replace me. I might need to choose a successor and all that right now. Not necessary so much. Yeah? Maybe I do it, maybe I don't. Because change is quick, so I don't need to come back. I don't need anybody to do it for me after I go. Yeah? It's easy to say, but it's a hell of work. <laughs> it's really hell. Any more questions? Come, come, come. Came a long way. Just ask something you want. Maybe later you don't have chance anymore. It's just because you put it there, I drink, forget it. Next time, don't put anything. Yeah? I don't like it. I don't need to. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get rid of it. I don't need it. Right. There, there. Huh? Okay? Good? Feel good? Feel good? Yeah? 
so hot and so cold and so uncomfortable. Is still okay? You crazy. You crazy. <laughs> Everybody are welcome to stay, but only if your business, your job, everything is in order, or your family members, everything okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can stay. Yeah. Don't don't make trouble for yourself. Okay. Et voilà. Meditate? Yeah? What? I have to go. I have a lot of emergency things. Under time pressure. I have to do it. Otherwise, it's too late. Okay? Really under time pressure. I'm sorry, it just sometimes it happens. Sometimes everything comes at once and. Phew. See you soon. Maybe I'll come back. Don't eat too much sweet, no? The peas. for them, okay? They can have it later. I, I'm sorry, I just have to go away. I see you first before I do some work, but I have to go away. Time is everything in this world. <laughs> See you soon. Love you.